All right, what is going on everybody? Captain here back again with another Marvel Contest of Champions video. This is going to be my 16 month progression video. I missed last month, but before that I had my 14 month in May. Uh, so now figured I should go ahead and do it as uh, I have quite a bit of improvements in my roster and everything. Uh, so I do have the spreadsheet again this time around. I've updated it uh, to the best of my knowledge. It's all up to date. Um, so hopefully that that will look good and I'll pull that up in just a minute here um, also before I get into it I wanted to mention I did change some settings up on my microphone my blue Yeti I've been noticing my quality of my voice doesn't sound like it's as good as it should be with this microphone so I tried to look up some things to see if I can make it better so I think I improved it I tried listening to it myself it sounds like it's a little bit better uh, so you guys let me know down below in the comments if my voice audio sounds a little bit better than my previous videos. If so, that is good. Um, anyways, back into the game now. So let's go ahead and pull up the spreadsheet. Uh, so here we go. It's going to be kind of blocking the screen. I'll have my game up as well. Try to do my best to uh, do that. Uh, so we've got on the spreadsheet, the first thing up on there is our subscriber count. So I have also listed all of the different... Uh, months when I've done these so I did my first one was around nine months in the game 10 months 11 13 14 and now 16 uh, subscriber count has gone up quite a bit over that time uh, around this one I think was when uh, when I posted my first big four star crystal opening so that jump was huge uh, didn't have much between here and then this jump was I had my 21 four star crystal opening so notice a big increase in the subscriber count from 14 to 16 uh, so that's awesome to see. I love that you guys are all uh, enjoying my content and because I'm enjoying making it and editing and everything. It's I'm having a real good time doing it. Um, so level wise, I'll pull up my profile in game. It's most of, most of it's going to probably be blocked. So you can see here that I am level 60 still. Obviously, there's no increase there. Uh, 217 champions. I've gained almost another 30 champions in the last two months. A lot of those three stars, a couple fours. Actually, no, it's probably about half and half because of that 21 four star opening uh, between threes and fours. So that's pretty cool. Uh, hero base rating has jumped up almost 70,000 uh, in the last two months. Big part will be because of what am I? My uh, rank 5 4 stars that I have, which we'll get to in a moment. Uh, total PvP wins has gone up quite a bit. Duels, obviously, just from doing the events. Uh, PvP streak, this number might be different in my next progression video because I will be going for the 4 star Spider-Man Tech Enhanced uh, starting tomorrow. And uh, so I, I would assume that my streak will need to be a little bit higher than 345 if I want to pull him from the arena. So that number might change finally. It's been been this way since the Nightcrawler grind. So uh, it's been quite some time. Uh, moving on to the axe, we are 100% uh, through Act 4. And uh, Act 5 is what we're currently working on. I'll go ahead. Oops, that's what I didn't do. I meant to hit this one to close it down. Go into the story quest, and you can see here Act 5 is 55% uh, total done. But I think that's just from what has been added into the game so far. Not quite sure. Uh, chapter 1 is 100%. Um, chapter 2, I've done one run through. Uh, Collector was a fun, uh, hard, difficult fight for sure, but it was definitely a fun challenge. Um, so I'm looking forward to 100%ing that, but that's going to be a little ways down the road, I think. Uh, but my main target right now is uh, Road to the Labyrinth. So I'll go over here. Uh, we've got Road to the Labyrinth. I've completed Chapter 1, 2, and 3, and I'm working on Chapter 4. So I still have the last four rounds left. Um, I've definitely been uh, taking advantage of Joel Lyons' walkthrough guides for the Road to the Labyrinth. If you uh, are also looking to complete this, check out his channel Joel Line. Um, he has some really good comprehensive guides on how to uh, defeat Road to the Labyrinth each each one what champions you should bring in so it's really helpful definitely encourage it um, so that's what I'm working on right now is my main target I obviously completed Ro Realm of Legends and Labyrinth of Legends well well that's a ways down the road as well the so road to Labyrinth is what we're working on right now um, so now let's go ahead and move into my champions so for my three star champions I have 94 total um, I have 39 of them that are maxed 94 all 94 of them are duplicated and 18 of them are maxed out as signature level 99 so I'll go ahead and pull them up in game here you can kind of see them again I'll just kind of scroll through them 
as well as I will pull up my three star spreadsheet. So this is a spreadsheet. I have all of my uh, champions and their signature levels. You can see which ones are at 99. Um, pretty good amount of them. Only ones I'm missing you can see here are Crossbones and Mordo. I have every single other champion in the game currently as a three star uh, that is available I believe. Uh, if I don't, then, well, you can let me know which ones I don't have. Uh, but you can see, yeah, I've got 18 total here. It keeps track of it. All the ones in gray are the 99 ones. So, pretty good roster. Pretty happy with my three-star progression. Um, quite a few of them are maxed out. Gives me those abilities. Uh, gives me the chance to get those uh, max signature ability crystals. Uh, so, that's going to do it for the three stars. We'll jump back over here. Um, oh, you can see also I've added another nine in the last two months, which has mainly been from Arena, and I had a bunch of three-star crystal openings. Um, so next up is the four-star champions. Go ahead and switch this over in-game to my four-stars. Uh, four-stars, you can see this number has gone up, what is that, 15? Uh, 15 champions, which I think about half of that was from my four-star opening. The rest, a couple I think were from Arena, which was Hyperion. Um, I don't remember who else I can't remember right now um, Doctor Strange maybe and uh, so they can see I have 37 of them are duplicated uh, 38 are at rank 4 or 8 rank 3 sorry 13 at rank 4 and then 7 are at rank 5 which is awesome I'm loving my rank 5 champions you can see them right here on screen um, and I'll jump over now to my four star progression I have uh, a little less black on the screen than in my last progression video, which is awesome. You can see here with the Mystics, I'm only missing the Hood. Um, tech, still not that many of them. Quite a bit of the Cosmics. Uh, science, decent amount. Uh, skill, I'm missing only a few here, and then Mutant, only a few as well. Uh, I have a, a lot of the main, like, really good champions. The ones I'm really looking forward to getting, though, are Archangel, Iceman, X-23. Still want a classic Daredevil. Um, Spider-Man wouldn't be bad. The Hood. Uh, and I think that kind of is about it of all the people. Oh, Ultron. I definitely want an Ultron. And the Spider-Man uh, Stark Enhanced, of course. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty happy, though, with my four-star roster. Again, like I said, I have a total... Of, actually, I don't know if I did say it. I have 60. Yeah, I have 68. So it's a decent amount of four stars. Hopefully, it's enough to help me grind uh, for the Spider-Man Tark Stark Enhanced. And then on to my five stars. I don't have a spreadsheet for my five stars because it's a pretty small list. Uh, so I can actually go ahead and get rid of the spreadsheets for now um, and just have in-game on the screen. So here we have. Uh, five stars, Captain America, Rocket Raccoon, Superior Iron Man, Cyclops, Iron Man, Star-Lord, Ronin, Hawkeye, and Rhino. Captain America is the only one that is at rank th 2. I almost said rank 3 because uh, I am thinking of taking him to rank 3. And as well as Rocket Raccoon, I might take to rank 2. Uh, just kind of depends. I'm considering a couple options with my uh, tech uh, catalyst because I'll go jump over to my catalyst real quick and show you I have uh, only th I think tech is the only class I have three of oops I didn't mean to do that I meant to scroll down there we go and uh, yeah tech I only have three of science I almost have three and mutant I almost have another three uh, but my options are either take up my four star vision uh, the age of Ultron one my rank five rocket raccoon or if I get the star spider-man stark enhance I will most likely take him to rank five so those are my options right now for my catalyst so we'll see what happens uh, and since i'm here i'll go ahead and show you my items uh, really the only thing is my awakening gems i've got a tech four star a mutant four star and a skill five star which i got from that fourth of july deal which will go toward a uh, gwenpool if i ever get her as a five star if not it's probably just going to sit there for quite some time because I'm not going to use it on Hawkeye. That's just, no, we're not doing that. Sorry, Hawkeye. I like you, but no. <laughs> um, and I think that just about covers everything in game. Uh, the only other thing is, I guess I should have said this at the beginning, is what, oh, I should probably plug my phone in, or my iPad, um, is what my alliance is. I am in Oculus. Uh, same alliance that I've been in since about the early beginning of this year. 
and a uh, great group of guys currently looking for a couple uh, a member uh, right now so if you're looking for an alliance we are pretty good we're doing five uh, map five five days a week trying to push ourselves to get better uh, so some big changes are happening in our alliance right now so it's a good time to jump in and help be part of that change so if you want to join add me or one of the other officers and we can talk it over and see what uh, if it's gonna work out or not one last thing that I forgot to show <laughs> as I started editing I realized I didn't show off my crystals so here we are with my crystals um, not much in this first column just kind of some random uh, things you just collect the map Alliance quest crystals a decent amount of max signature ability crystals tier 4 catalyst that I will be opening soon which is from 5.2 and then just some other miscellaneous things but the shard crystals is the important ones premium hero we have over 200 uh, K pretty decent amount I'll probably be doing a, a PHC opening soon here uh, three stars I'll be opening up all those before my next four star opening which you can see right there I am at 18,000 so that is nine four stars I'm waiting uh, to until next week when Iceman gets added into the crystals. So I would say next week around Wednesday or so, you should see a four-star crystal opening, or it might even be posted on Tuesday. We'll see what happens. So uh, stay tuned next week for that four-star opening. Uh, so we'll be adding another, probably by then, I'm thinking it might be around 11 or 12 four-stars to open. We'll see. Um, and then special, not really anything in there. Uh, so yeah, that's going to do it for this progression video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I can do these more often. Uh, if you've not already hit that like button or the subscribe, please do so. Share it around. I'd love if you guys share my channel with uh, the rest of your alliance. If you're enjoying my stuff, maybe they will as well. But that is going to do it for this progression video, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you next time.